A question I have been asked a lot is, should I buy FIFA points on the new FIFA? Should I spend FIFA points on FIFA 21? How many coins will I get from 12,000 FIFA points on FIFA 21? And today I'm going to talk about that and let you know just how worth it it is. For cheap, fast and reliable FIFA 21 Ultimate Team coins, check out U7 Buy, link in the description and use the code HABER to get yourself 5% off all of your orders. So, 12,000 FIFA points in terms of 7.5k packs as they are 150 uh, FIFA points per pack is 80 7.5k packs, which is a lot of 7.5k packs, to be honest. And a, as a general rule of thumb, 7.5k packs, whether that be at the start or the end of the game, uh, usually give you a, a set amount of coins per discard, unless you get super lucky and hit a load of rare players. Uh, and that amount usually is between 1,500 coins and 2,000 coins. Uh, this one was an unlucky one, and we got 1,300 coins. Um, but you've got items that sell in all 7.5k packs. For example, you can get 200 coins per contract, even at the start of the game. Uh, you can typically get chem styles or position modifiers that sell for a little bit as well. So a general rule of thumb that I like to go by is between 1,500 and 2,000 thousand coins per 7.5k pack um, and i'm just going to open a couple of these on on fever 20 for you guys to sort of see what you can expect from 7.5k packs um, this one has a rare in so we can have a quick look and see how much this one discards for as rares usually uh do dictate the uh the price of the pack um, this one's got a left mid to left wing card which at the start of the game will probably be about 300 coins and then the discard for this pack is about 1600 coins so let's say you made about 2000 coins as holgate would have sold for a little bit at the start of the game same with Sidibe would have sold for a little bit at the start of the game. So this pack maybe would have gave you out about 2,000 coins um, with the rare contract as well. Maybe a little bit more than that. So as a general rule of thumb, uh, I like to say between one and a half and 2,000 coins. And in terms of uh, pack probability, uh, this is what the pack probability looks like uh, on FIFA 20. And, and they're usually almost identical with the FIFA 20 and FIFA 21. You've got 100% uh, chance of getting a 75 plus rated gold player. You've got an 18% chance of getting an 82 plus gold player and a 5% chance of getting an 84 gold player. So realistically, out of 80 packs, uh, that chance for uh, an 82 rated and an 84 rated uh, gold card, you should realistically get, um, I would say, four cards rated 84 or higher and around 16 cards rated 82 or higher if you get the very, very, very minimum uh, look and you don't get lucky at all you cannot seem to get anything at all you should hit around 16 cards rated 82 or higher and around four cards rated 84 or higher which isn't a great return i'm not gonna lie but that's going based off of pack probability and the minimal uh probability you can possibly get on fifa 21 so i've cracked out the notepad and we're going to be talking about uh how much you could possibly make um out of uh, 12,000 FIFA points and i just want to quickly say as well this doesn't guarantee you a solid amount so what I've experienced is that at the start of the game, you either get lucky or you don't with FIFA points. It is, at the end of the day, uh, a luck or a non-luck uh, kind of thing. Now, obviously, I spend a lot of FIFA points. I know people spend a lot of FIFA points, and I don't have anything against spending FIFA points. Um, I think that uh, if you're going to spend, you're going to spend. It's, it, you do what you want with your money at the end of the day. Um, but you can get incredibly lucky or you can get incredibly unlucky. And we're going to talk about how much you could possibly get if you get the worst look possible and you just don't pack anything at all. So we've already established that you get 87.5k packs and the average discard of a 7.5k pack is between one and a half and 2,000 coins. So I'm going to say uh, 1,750 coins uh, is uh, how much you get back per uh per discard if i can even type so we're going to do 1750 times 80 that equals 140,000. so if you get just discards in your packs let's say you're going to hit 140,000 coins just from the discards in your packs um that doesn't include chem styles that doesn't include uh contracts that doesn't include literally anything it's literally uh, base just discarding everything now i'm going to add on an extra twenty thousand coins for all uh consumables that you're going to sell uh i think it'll be a lot more than that but we're gonna uh we're gonna add that on for consumables so adding on consumables uh equals one hundred sixty thousand coins uh that's your now new base minimum because you're going to sell consumables now Per 12,000 thief points, you usually hit a few anchor cards, hunter cards, uh, probably not a few hunter cards, but you hit like a hunter card or two, uh, or a catalyst or a, or a shadow. Um, you usually get some decent position modifiers as well. Striker, center forward, center forward to cam, cam center mid, CM to CDM, and they all add up. I think 20,000 coins, including contracts, is pretty fair. Now, bear in mind, squad fitness is no longer a thing. 
Uh, they don't exist in FIFA 21, so it's actually significantly less than what it would have been if squad fitnesses are in there. I think usually with squad fitnesses, I'd actually give you about 30 or 40,000 coins extra because um, you hit a lot of squad fitnesses and 12,000 FIFA points, usually around, I would say, 40 to 50, um, but they're not a thing this year. So you don't get those extra coins, unfortunately. Now, we've already established that you get four uh, items rated 84 or higher. So we're going to say uh, out of those four items, uh, benefit of that would give you two items that actually sell for something because you could hit like a summer or something that really doesn't sell for much. Um, I'm going to give you uh, two items that sell for something and I'm going to say those two items sell for 30,000 coins each. So we're going to allocate an extra 60,000 coins uh, from these... Uh, four items rated 84 or higher at the start of the game literally pretty much everything sells so if that 84 rated item is an 84 but it sells then it, it could be in for absolute bank it could be an 85 that sells an 86 that sells even an 86 that doesn't sell is still about 15,000 coins at the start of the game so those items like those four packs right there you're in for a good amount we're going to allocate 60,000 coins so it's going to take you up to 220,000 coins for your 12,000 thief points so far uh from 84 or higher items and remember that is on the base minimum 84 or higher items based on ea's pack probability now we also have to allocate in the 16 items that you're going to get but that are rated 82 or higher now you could even get zero items rated 82 or higher ea's pack pr probability doesn't guarantee you that amount but we're saying base minimum i actually want to give ea the benefit of the doubt i think with fifa points like you have the base minimum. I think you usually get a bit more unless you are just the unluckiest person in the world. From my experience, from 12,000 thief points, I usually hit a walkout or two. Um, but, you know, people just aren't lucky. I've heard some serious shock stories with FIFA points before. Uh, so you can't guarantee it. But for 16 items rated 82 or higher, uh, I think we can easily allocate... I would say 2,000 coins per item, uh, add on the odd item that sells for maybe 5k. I'm going to give you 40,000 coins there from eight, eight, 82 plus items. And I think that's actually being really unfair towards EA there. That probably could be a lot more than that. But we're going to give you 40,000 coins based on that. Um, just because I don't want to say get your hopes up and... Uh, envision that it's going to be way more than that now uh from that 12,000 thief points i'm going to add in one more uh stipulation and i think you're going to hit one walkout in that 12,000 thief points because i usually hit one walkout as a bare minimum per 12,000 thief points and most people i know that open thief points usually average around that as well so we're going to say one walkout per 12,000 thief points um is going to be an extra about 30,000 coins there or 40,000 coins i'm going to round it to 40,000 coins we're going to say 300,000 coins is your grant total for thief points so for me in my opinion from my years of experience of opening packs at the start of the game from my years of experience of opening packs from my thousands of fifa points that i've opened last year i'm gonna say per 12,000 thief points if you didn't keep anything if you sold or quick sold everything i think you'll get a bare minimum of around 300,000 coins now that could be incredibly generous based on what you will get because you could get the most unlucky run in the world every pack be non-rares no 84 rated no 82 rated that is that is a possibility but the chances are so fine that i don't think it'll happen or you could get insanely lucky hit a bunch of walkouts i've seen somebody literally open 12 that one of my irl friends uh, that i went to school with opened 12,000 thief points on fifa once hit ronaldo like eight walkouts in the first like two hours of fifa like it was insane so you could be that lucky and you could make millions of coins for one set of 12,000 thief points anything genuinely is possible but i'm going to say for a general rule of thumb per 12,000 thief points i would say you will make a bare minimum of around 300,000 coins give or take 10 or 20,000 coins it could be 280 it could be 320 i think around 300,000 coins is pretty fair uh based on the pack probability system for ea and based on uh just pretty much what you can pack from 12,000 thief points now what i will then ask you is do you find it worth it 12,000 thief points for 300,000 coins. Now, my answer genuinely is yes. I think 300,000 coins at the start of the game will get you a very nice squad. You'll have a squad that you can play weekend league with. You'll probably have some liquid coins left over. You can get one big player. For example, you can get a 100k player and build a 200k squad around him, or you can get a 150,000 coin player. Uh, it'll allow you to get one big player uh, and have a nice squad that you can beat people with and you can learn the game with uh, at a higher level. I think it'll give you a nice advantage and it means you won't have to grind as hard as someone that's doing a rotor glory now is that me saying you should buy thief points i'm not I, it's your choice it's your money you make the choice you want to make okay but i am saying that i think 
in order to make coins quickly, I think FIFA points is definitely... Uh, for 300,000 coins, I think 12,000 FIFA points it is a worth it investment in my opinion. But that's on the basis that 300,000 coins is a lot to get to start of the game. Uh, so that is that is my personal opinion. Now, we do also have the idea of drafts being a thing. And you can do drafts. Now, with 12,000 FIFA points, you can actually play 40 drafts. Um, you can get 40 drafts played with 12,000 FIFA points. And with drafts, I don't really know if there's any general rule of thumb because if you lose in the first round, you can get two 5k packs and a silver pack. But if you get past the first round, you can get a jumbo premium gold pack and a 7.5k pack. If you get past that, you can get a 25k pack or a rare gold pack. You can get if you get to the final, if you if you win the final, you can get 100k pack, for example. So there's no real general rule of thumb with drafts, but I do think if you are a decent enough player and you back your ability. I would play drafts over buying packs 100% because you will, in the long run, get more value for your money for 12,000 FIFA points. The £80 investment that you do put into the game, you will actually, in fact, get yourself back probably, I would say, double the 300,000 coins that I've I've set as a precedent for 7.5k packs. I would say with, with drafts, even if you get super unlucky, you usually make your coins back from a draft what i've noticed if you get at least past the second round um but that's difficult at the start of the game you you can play against a really good player in the, at the start of the game in the first round there's no seeding in draft there's no uh there's no uh qualification points or or there's no skill rating so there's no guarantee you're going to play anyone that you can beat you could literally play against people that are all going to beat you that is the, the i guess the risk um and then the return of investment is obviously getting the good the good packs back and then getting the coins good for the, the good packs so at the end of the day, you have that, that risk return factor with drafts. Um, but I think all in all, uh, I would say drafts are probably more worth it than packs, but a lot more effort. I don't think you'd see that 300,000 coin return for probably at least a few days to a week um, with drafts. Because obviously, you've got to play all the drafts. You've got to play four games per draft. It's going to take a long time to get those, uh, those coins built up. Um, but if you've got the time, you've got the patience and you're a good player, drafts are definitely the way to go. But that's pretty much all I wanted to talk about in this video and talk about the return of investment from FIFA points in terms of coins. Uh, I know a lot of you guys, and when I say this, I like... Uh, I see a lot of the comments and a lot of the tweets and a lot of you guys in my streams. And a lot of you guys either work full-time jobs or you have kids or you just aren't able to invest a lot of time into the game. And I totally understand that. Um, and obviously, FIFA points are a way to make coins uh, quite easily without investing a ton of time or being incredibly good at the game. And I, I understand that as well. At the end of the day, Ultimate Team is, in my opinion, completely personal to you. It's what you want to do with it. For me, I enjoy building a team of some of my favorite players in real life, along with some of the best players in the game. I like mixing that. This year, I would love to use the Rio Ferdinand Nemanja Vidic partnership, as I'm a big Man United fan, and I grew up in that era of Rio Ferdinand and Nemanja Vidic as a uh, defensive partnership. So that is definitely something I want to do, and I want to get in Eric Cantona at some point. I want to use a lot of Man United players, ex and present Man United players. Um, so that's kind of what I like to do with Ultimate Team, and my goal is always trying to uh, reach Elite Three every every year and i'm hoping this year i can do that um but let me know down in the comments down below what your goal is for ultimate team this year are you trying to hit elite are you trying to hit top 100 are you just trying to make a million coins are you trying to go road to glory will you be spending a few points i'd love to hear your feedback in the comments down below thank you all for the epic support i really appreciate everything you guys have done for me this year it's been a crazy year and i'm super excited for FIFA 21 we are just three days away and i'll see you lads later